my channel guys today we are back with an unboxing video of Samsung Galaxy A50 smartphone and let's see what it is and how what it has to offer to us and I am Sampath and you are watching my channel so what's the wait for let's start the Samsung Galaxy A50 is right in front of me as you see it's a blue color variant and it has a triple red camera and with a flash so the main highlights are given as infinity u display a triple red camera and in display fingerprint scanner great to see that and it has a octa-core processor and 6.4 inch full rectangle display full hd plus amoled display so it's a great display to be honest and 25 plus 5 plus 8 triple rear camera 25 is the main shooter and 8 is the wide angle and 5 is the depth sensing camera and also has 25 megapixel trend camera and a 6 gb ram 64 gb rom variant anyways i know you'll be bored about the stuff so let's directly jump into the unboxing so without wasting any time let's open the box and when we open the box we find uh, the phone itself and the phone is with a glossy back design with blue color on its back and it looks really very cool and it has a triple red camera setup and this is the phone let's keep that thing aside for right now and on the top of the lid they have kept some surprise for us so let's see what the surprise is so let's open it up and when we open this up we get a mobile case with some paperwork so this is the mobile case over here this is a silicon case so you can keep this to your mobile phone but it's the quality is good but not the best so you, you have to buy some other mobile case uh, you know for a better protection for your phone but this case is also not so bad so okay that's a good case anyways keeping the thing aside we find the paperwork itself quick start guide a regional log guide and a warranty card so that's the other stuff and now uh, going to the box we find uh, the adaptive fast charge so this has an output rating of 15 watts so it's a 15 watt fast charger we get in the box and uh, it's a stereo headset being bundled in the box which is which is very rare anyways this is the ordinary uh, hysteria headsets and this is the um, you know USB type C cable being bundled with this phone so happy to see a USB type C cable and this supports a fast charge so welcome to future tech so here again we come to the sim ejector tool so the sim ejector tool is at the bottom of the box so this has a, a you know the sim ejector tool is here and um, that's how it is So the phone is all set here and uh, let's remove the outer covering that we have. So the phone has a 4000 milliamp hour battery powered with a Samsung Exynos 9610 processor. So this processor is mainly known for its uh, battery efficiency performance and so we expect to see a good battery life on this phone. So that's how the phone looks and this has some cover on the top, uh, some protection covers. Anyways, let's remove them all and the phone thickness is also not so uh, not so large, it's very thin and here we see the speaker grill, USB Type-C cable, USB Type-C port and a 3.5mm headphone jack, a microphone and this is how it is 6.4 inch full hd plus amoled display with a u-drop notch and the uh, above is the noise cancellation mic and a triple camera with the flash and a samsung branding at the back and the in is had in display fingerprint scanner and that's what it is guys and here it is uh, the case which we are seeing and let's fit this case and see how does it look so the case is not fitting exactly i think i left some film behind anyways so the case is all set and the case uh, is set right now um, it's transparent case i know it it's not spoiling the look of the phone the phone is looking very good and uh, let's remove the case and when we see that it has a u drop notch with a small speaker grill i found it so that's what it is guys a small speaker grill with a u drop notch and happy to see a notch uh, because it's not generate in this not generation so it's a polycarbonate back and not a glass back so happy to see a polycarbonate back also but uh, it would have been great if a lot it would be a glass back so that's what it is guys uh, the, it's as you see the thickness is not much um, and I would recommend you to keep a Gorilla Glass, uh, I mean it's a tempered glass because they say it has a Gorilla Glass protection but still it's better to keep a, a tempered glass and 
it's better to be safe always and that's how it is guys i'll boot it up and i'll be back so i've booted it up and it's all ready so let's see how it is right now and that's how it gets unlocked in this fingerprint scanner it takes a little time but it's acceptable at this price range so that's how it is so let's drop down to the settings and that's how it drops down and when we go to the about phone so uh, when we go to the about phone we find um, a uh, bot android version is working and it's working on the one ui version of 1.1 and it has the latest android version of 9 pi so we'll expect to even get it at android 10 also and android 11 probably so that's how it is happy to see a latest android version and um, a samsung one ui version 1.1 so that's how it is let's go to the camera interface right now and the camera interface has so many options like you know you have got photo video live focus pro mode manual mode etc etc you can find many options in this camera mode and you also have live focus which means that you can uh, you know adjust the background blur how much ever you want from one to five or i mean one to ten or one to five and you can take the photo even after taking the photo also you can adjust how much you want again so it's a good option i feel in the camera interface and it also has a two or uh, two modes like it has a normal mode as well as a wide angle mode as i said you in the uh in just now that is a normal mode and wide angle mode so in normal mode it has a normal perspective and wide angle mode is a wider perspective i'll show you some few camera samples on how it is and let you decide how it is and what it is so let's see them so here are a few camera samples taken from the samsung galaxy a50 this is from the normal mode and this is taken in the wide angle mode. As you see, there is a lot of change here. These photos are taken in the low light and I think they've done a decent job. So here's another photo taken in the wide angle mode and it does a decent job in low light. So in this condition, it's a bit cloudy and it's taken in normal lighting conditions and it does a good job. So it's taken in the outer lighting conditions, a wider perspective taken from the wide angle camera and does a good job in the outdoor lighting conditions. This photo is in normal mode in the outdoor lighting conditions and it does a pretty good job in focusing the plant. This is the same photo taken in the outdoor lighting conditions in a wide angle mode. This photo is again taken in the outdoor lighting conditions and in a normal mode. And this is the same photo taken in the wide angle mode. So that's with the video guys uh, and uh, this phone has a lot to offer and it's nice to see uh, you know a triple rear camera and display fingerprint scanner at this price range and i'll leave the buying link in the description box below do check it out and uh, and with that said thanks for watching my videos i hope you liked it and if you like then do like share comment and do subscribe to my channel and i hope to see you guys in my next videos